Hi guys, I'm Judy Moody, and today's episode is called Judy Moody Mood Martian. Okay, now I have to take my picture now. Cheese. Ding. Then, guys, I realized I have to take them home. Grr! I am such a bad mood. She, Judy Moody, was in a mood, a sour ball mood, a mad face mood, all because school pictures had come home that day. If Stink came into her room, he would ask to see her school picture, and if he asked to see her school picture, he would see that she had been wearing her "I am a girl, hear me roar" T-shirt, the same one she wore today. And if he saw her wearing her roar T-shirt in her school picture, he would also see that she looked like Sasquatch, with bird's nest hair in her face and in her eyes. Mom and Dad were going to freak. Just once, we'd like to have a nice school picture of our girl. Dad had said just this morning. Maybe this will be the year. Mom had said, but third grade was no different. Moody, if Judy's number one favorite place to curl up with Mouse was on her top bunk, but guys, Stink would for sure find her there. What's up with that Stinky? Okay, Mouse, let's go. Let's cuddle up. Okay, guys. These pillows will be my mood pillow. It's it. These will be the signal. We have this one and this bad. This alien. Sometimes aliens can be bad. If the pillow's sitting up, it means. I'm in a good mood. Come on in. But it, if it's lying it, down, that means that's bad cold. mood. Go away. Hmm. What will I do? <gasps> She, Judy Moody, had an idea. Not bad mood idea. She was going to try to be in a good mood for one whole week. Judy asked her friends, "Hey guys, what puts you in a good mood?" When I do a really good magic trick, like the fake finger trick, said Rocky. He pulled his index finger, pretending to yank it off. If everybody claps and is amazed, it puts me in a good mood. Uh huh. Judy scribbled a note to self. I get in a good mood when I'm done with my homework, said Frank. Uh huh. Uh huh. Judy looked at her notes. Next, it was Amy's turn. Writing stories puts me in a good mood. I dream stuff up and make it into a book and illustrate it. Illustrate. Oh, I, Judy Moody, will have an idea. I can make a story. Okay. One. Upon a time, it
my story complete. Ding. Where's my cap? Where's my cap? Where's my cap? Where's my cap? Cap, 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 cap. Hmm, then whatever. Now let's read this story. Okay. Once upon a time, it was a dark and stormy night. Pete and repeat Pete and repeat Pray were sitting on the top bunk. Pete fell off. Who is left? Repeat. Pete and repeat were sitting on a top bunk. The end. Beep. Bun. Judy Moody? Mm hmm. Judy Moody. Me. Oh, what can I do for you, Judy Moody? Let's see what mood you can be like. Just a ding dong. Wait just a ding dong minute. What could be more perfect than to talk to Little Miss Perfect? Somebody who brushed her hair every day and followed all the rules and got good grades and had never even been near Antarctica. It's somebody who had a hat! Oh, Jessica. Good. <laughs> Why are you writing stuff down? Do you? Oh. Hmm. That's my lip gloss. Okay, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Judy tugged an end out from under mouse. <laughs> mouse, I have some bad moods for you. It's time to go, though. Me! Don't be sad. We can go next time. Bye-bye.